Say, what's the idea? Have you got some... Why, yes, to be married at 2 o'clock this afternoon. No, no. Listen, when you hear one of those sirens blowing, get off the street. Oh, when I hear a siren, I get off the street. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you. I don't get mad. Have an apple. Mm. Uh, you know... Don't mind if I do. Apples and doctors. I'll be seeing you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, well, so, eating while on duty, eh? Mmm. Consider yourself demoted. Mmm. Good morning. I came to see my little girl. Oh, Gwenny. Oh, dear. Here, dear. Mama brought you a nice bag of apples. I came to tell you that at 2 o'clock this afternoon, I'm going to be married to a nice man. Is it necessary? Well, perhaps not, but convenient. Now, he doesn't know I have a little girl like you, so you mustn't call me Mama or say anything, see? Now, run along, dear. My, you look tired, Mrs. Perkins. Yes, it's awfully hard trying to keep the wolf from the door. Let's go kill the wolf. Goodbye, dear. I shoot the wolf. Bunch of little roughnecks. Oh, how do you do, Matron? Uh, where is my little angel? Junior? Yes? Ah, there's my little boy. <laughs> now listen, two o'clock today, I'm going to marry a nice lady. But don't you say a word, because she doesn't know I've got a nice boy like you, and I want to surprise her. <laughs> now, here's a nice lollipop for you. Naughty, naughty. Give Daddy a kiss. I'll be your age, old fossil. Fossil? Fossil? Fo Who told her? Hey, goodbye. What are you doing to my back, you son? So, you're breaking the rules of cleanliness, eh? Understand? Yes! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh! 
Say, didn't I tell you to get off the street when you heard a siren? Oh, but I did get off, and I had an ice cream soda while I was waiting. Now, listen, you... Uh, I'm wanna... sorry. I have no time to talk to you. You see, I'm going to be married this afternoon. You'll just have to talk to somebody else. Yeah, I'll be just... seeing you. First class sergeant this morning. Now look at me. Oh, Jimmy. And now, dear, to go to our little love nest. Ah, uh, yes, Jimmy. But what is a love nest without the pattern of baby feet? Yes. I suggest start off our married life right and adopt a baby. A good idea. Perhaps a little boy. Oh, no, Jane. A little girl. Yes, but, well, well uh, goodbye. 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 Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Or maybe a little boy. I've already made up our minds, Jimmy, a little girl. Oh, I see. Oh, children, come here and line up. Now, let me see. This is a nice little boy. <laughs> oh! But his father must have had very bad manners. A little rough, I'm afraid. <gasps> now, here. Now, here is a little girl I could love. Uh, no, but just a second. Well, there is a nice, sturdy boy. One who can carry on my name when I'm gone. Where are you going? Uh, uh, regardless, I would like this boy. I don't want a boy. Well, I do. I want I a boy. I want a girl. Well, I want a boy. I won't have a boy. I insist on but a boy. I won't have a boy. Don't Listen. you tell me what I want. I want... I suggest you take all the children home with you over the weekend. Then you can tell which one you love the best. Well, um... I think it's a splendid idea. Run right along. Oh, come on. Here we go. Come on. I think. Wait a minute, I'll fix that. How's that? Are we paying you to entertain the public or direct traffic? Don't you talk back to me. Kitties, be careful and keep off that lawn. Now be careful and keep off the lawn. Is our little love nest. Sweetheart. Darling. Oh. <laughs> oh. Who did that? Who did it? Who did it? Control yourself, dear. Control yourself. Your blood pressure, darling. Go in there and wipe your face off. Go ahead, dear.
Cindy, don't you touch that boy. There's no reason for him. I'll touch whoever I like now. Don't you tell me who to touch. Then you get right down from there. You naughty, naughty little boy. How dare you do a thing like that? You want to be entertained, eh? Very well. Gather round that chair and I'll give you some music. Come on now. Now sit down and I shall play you a nice Scottish ballad. Very. I see them. What's the matter, uh, Jimmy? How I'm not myself today. Well, who are you, Jimmy? No, I don't remember. Oh, Jimmy, take these children in and give them a bath. Me? Yes. Don't move. Hurry up. I'm and crazy. I'm and losing you go. my sense. Oh. Go. Did you catch it, Jimmy? Go. Oh. Maybe he's not well. Well, anyway, hi ho. I don't want a bath. You'll take don't a bath. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. Get out. Come on, get over here. You're going to take a bath. Come on. Let me see you. Go, go. And in my hair. And one of them cut that cake. I'll teach them a lesson. Children. Now one of you has something that doesn't belong to them. Have you got it? No. Have you? No. Give Close it to me. your eyes and hold out your hand.
going back. Except one. Except one? Why, this brat, I mean this boy here, is my own son, Gwen. Hmm, I might have known. But all the rest can go back, every one of them. No, Jimmy, I too have a confession to make. Eight years ago, it was a beautiful spring night. Mm. But never mind all that. This is my daughter. Go! Oh! But all the rest can go back. They shut and I the will. And I can the home right now. Come on, Come on. Jimmy. Come on. Come on now. Get over there. Get over in that chair. Get on. Get up. Hello? Yes, this is a matron of the orphanage. This is Mrs. Finlayson. I want you to come and get all the children and take them back to the home. Well, the orphanage has just burned down, and you'll have to keep the kids until we build another home. You one. Oh! 